Hello everybody. In this screencast we're going to learn how to apply trig functions, namely sine, cosine, and tangent. So before you watch it you need to make sure you know how to use sine, cosine, or tangent to solve for missing pieces of right triangles. Okay, so let's look at our first problem. A wire is attached to the top of a 75 meter tower and meets the ground at a 65 degree angle. How long is the wire? Okay, so let's call the length of the wire x, that's what we're looking for, and if we are standing at this 65 degree angle, then 75 is the opposite side and x is a hypotenuse. So hopefully you'll remember that the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So let's solve for x. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x and divide by the sine of 65 and it's calculator time. Don't forget to make sure that you are in degree mode. I am. And so I'm going to go 75 divided by sine of 65. And the tower, or the wire actually, is 82.75 meters. Our next problem involves what we call an angle of elevation. Angles of elevation are always measured from the horizontal. Okay, so here's the situation. Caroline is standing 200 feet from the base of a building. Okay, so here's the building. And she looks up to the top of the building with an angle of elevation of 26.5 degrees. Alright, let's assume that it's going from ground level just to make our lives easier, okay? So here's the angle of elevation, the line of sight, 26.5 degrees. So notice that it's measured from the horizontal ground, okay? We know that she's 200 feet away. We are looking for the height of the building. We'll call that H. Okay, so that's the opposite side. That's the adjacent side. Sounds like we want to use tangent. The tangent of 26.5 degrees is going to be h over 200. So multiplying by 200 will give me h. Bring up our calculator. And 200 tangent 26.5 is 99.7 feet, we'll call it 100, okay? That last problem used in angle of elevation, you can also have an angle of depression. And that's what this problem uses, is an angle of depression. Okay, here's the situation. Here's the ground, and here's the runway, and here's an airplane. All right, and the pilot sights the runway at an angle of depression of 8 degrees. Angles of depression, just like angles of elevation, are measured from the horizontal. So I'm going to draw out an imaginary horizontal, and the pilot is sighting that runway at an angle of depression of 8 degrees. So angles of depression go down from the horizontal. Angles of elevation go up from the horizontal. Okay, the height of the airplane is 6,000 feet. And we want to know how far is the ground distance. OK. Well, you may have noticed that the ground is also horizontal. So these are alternate interior angles. So that's an 8 degree angle right there. OK. So we know the opposite side. We're looking for the adjacent side. We're going to use tangent again. The tangent of 8 degrees is opposite over adjacent. So x tangent 8 is 6,000. x is 6,000 divided by the tangent of 8 degrees. Calculator time. And I'm going to go 6,000 divided by the tangent of 8. 
and we get 42,692 feet away from the runway. Last problem, a building casts a shadow 200 feet long. All right, well, let's draw the building. And here's the shadow. That's 200. And the sun is shining up here. And it is casting the shadow like that. OK, let me change my 200 feet right here. There we go. OK, so how tall is a building? X. This is like the problem we did with Caroline, right? This angle of elevation is 40 degrees. And once again, we have an opposite and adjacent. So we're going to use tangent. The tangent of 40 degrees is x over 200. 200 tangent 40 is x. Bring up the calculator. 200 tangent 40. And we get that the building is 168 feet tall. OK, so you may have noticed that every one of these problems involves a right triangle. Therefore, that lets you use either sine, cosine, or tangent to solve the missing piece, depending on what you're given. Have fun.